Because you know how there's people that they ask you how you're doing and they just kind of, you know, keep it pushing after that. Some people that like really want to know how you're doing. He's one of those guys that like really want to know how you're doing. So when I got here, I was like, Shit. but it, it's all good. He's a cool dude. You know what I'm saying? And you know, another thing about that, when you're out there just getting footage and stuff like that, people, they never take in regard that you have like a time limit. They're just like, hey, what are you doing? And it's like, uh, I'm making a video. <laughs> but anyway, guys, what's good? We got the Desert Moss Moss today. And for some reason, I picked the most, um, the more unpopular color. And you see this box took a hit. We have the Jordan 4 Retro SP Desert Moss Turquoise. Whoa, is that it? Is that a stamp right there? You guys see that GA stamp right there? Huh. But the box took a hit. That's okay. I mean, you know, Nail Man's theory in the box is not the same as mine, but we don't wear it. And a little love note there. We got the back of Jordan's head, just like the other two, well, I should say three pairs of Union 4s at this point. And just getting these out. Like I said, these, this is the most unpopular pair out of the two. And to me, these look cool. I don't know why I picked these, probably because I just didn't care. I was like, I think they just offered them to me, and I was like, sure, send them. But they look good, and they actually remind me of, like, um, a German sneaker. And I used to live in Germany when I was a little kiddo, and this colorway is very reminiscent of what Germans would wear back in that time. At least I don't know what they're wearing now. Shout out to Schroeder. But we have the Un Union LA on that side, and... These look pretty good, you know. I can tell they're not 100%. I've seen other pairs that look a little better, but these are good enough to wear, and I'm gonna wear them. And if you haven't already seen them, go ahead and check out the other two videos. I think I did the those pink ones a couple times. Yeah, I did a retail comparison versus the the UA. But anyway, they got the air bubble there that looks pretty cool. It's actually that same blue color which you see right there. That's on the inside of that air bubble. And this color is just crazy, man. It's like almost like kind of a brownish mustard to me. I, they call that desert moss, but I guess so. I've never seen moss in the desert. And that heel tab looks a little off. I'll, I'll go back to that in a second. But I'm just trying to cover every little aspect of the sneakers so you can kind of pause this where you need to and compare it to your retail sneakers if you're doing that. Or just maybe if you're interested in this sneaker. Um, so make sure you follow me on IG for that. And here's behind the tongue. In one of these videos, I actually unsewed the tongue and then um, wore it like that. I think I still have that pair. I'm not sure. Um, there's the Union. That kind of that sticker kind of pulled that Union thing off. I love the polyurethane soles. They're the most squishy. They're the most softest. I wish they'd put that in every single Air Jordan that they make. I don't know why they use those those really old ones. Keep the polyurethane. And here's the the right shoe. Let's go ahead and just kind of look through this one. It's got the different tag on it. They did really good with the tags on these unions. Like the last fours that came out last year, the union tag was kind of way too behind. And they seem to nail that right out of the right out of the gates with these. Didn't show the bottoms. Here's the bottoms. That looks pretty cool. The bottoms actually are kind of the coolest part of the shoe. Besides the shoelaces. I love the shoelaces. The shoelaces are sick. All right. Here's the biggest part for me. When I look at the shoe, I look at the side. Then I go right to the back and I look at the heel. And they're both not consistent. Left shoe, right shoe factory. They're not supposed to be consistent. But if you look at retail pictures, they're a little better than this. So, I mean, compare them to what you have. I've definitely seen better. But I'm still going to put these on feet. So it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. And um, under the black light. Okay, not bad. I, I expect a little bit more. Oh, okay. Well, we got that on the toe box. That's kind of hard to avoid on these types of sneakers with these specific materials there's some behind the hill tab i've been seeing that a lot in jordan fours let's kind of go around it i don't see much else this is not as bad as i thought on the bottoms okay i'm looking for a stamp i thought i'd see a stamp because i thought there was a stamp on the box nothing on the tongue let's go ahead and look at the right shoe see what we find here there's more marks on the netting on this shoe so a little different more on the hill tab and the back of the back uh, what, what, what what is this there we go there we go i knew it i knew it just like on the box that ga i, I just i knew it here we are again you know what i'm saying i just had to get this one done yak yak blah 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 um we have the uh excuse me jordan four um 
I forgot the name, but I'm pretty sure that I'll cover that in the beginning of the video where I'm actually explaining and show all the details. I'm getting closer to, uh, you know, the end of the stacks and, you know, clients are happy. Well, some of the clients are happy. Most of the clients are happy. Pretty much getting just caught up with all the uploads. So it feels better. I feel better. I don't feel so rushed. I can actually enjoy some time at my home. So all that stuff is getting better. I don't feel like I have so much to do now. There. That's, that's what I guess I was trying to say. I, I really just appreciate you guys just showing up watching the videos either follow me on IG or YouTube doing one or the other it, it doesn't matter but yeah I really don't I really don't have much to talk about guys I'm usually ranting and raving about the process of getting shoes and the sellers and the time it takes to make the videos and how I'm busy but right now I'm cool I got about actually the game's already on so I'm about 10 minutes late to the game and that's okay that's okay everything's good Phoenix could possibly get eliminated today who knows <laughs> Again, you know what I'm saying? I just had to get this one done. Yak a yak, blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. I don't know. I was still getting packages in the pandemic. Packages in the pandemic. Packages in the pandemic. I don't know. I don't know. So here's the trick. I'm trying to get the person that gifted me this shoe to send me the other colorway before somebody else does because I've been offered these shoes a few times and I was just trying to wait a little bit longer until they got a little bit better. But at this point, it really doesn't matter. So gifter, if you're watching this video, which I'm pretty sure you will at some point, go ahead and send the other pair. You know, I'm going to be direct sometimes. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, sometimes you just got to be direct with what you want. So go ahead and send that other pair, the gray pair. I forgot what they're called, the wolf somethings, maybe, maybe not. Closing down factories and all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing a lot of that on Instagram and Twitter and all that stuff. So that's something to actually think about. Man, that seems really familiar to like the beginning of 2020. Didn't they do that before? It was just like the shipping times were a little bit longer than normal when they were like shutting down factories back in 2020. I don't know. I was still getting packages in the pandemic. Oh, somebody in the comments told me the other day that I talk too much. I'm like, well... I'm making a video. Aren't I supposed to talk in the video? Blah, blah, blah. You guys just want me to put text on the screen and don't talk at all? Oh, you do? Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. I feel better. I don't feel so rushed. I can actually enjoy some time.